Now Senator John McCain says it's time for military action. Listen. Providing military assistance to the Free Syrian Army and other opposition groups is necessary, but at this late hour, that alone will not be sufficient to stop the slaughter and save innocent lives. The only realistic way to do so is with foreign air power. White House officials have ruled out military intervention, to this point at least, over concerns that it could lead to even more bloodshed and an all-out civil war. Well, see, our Jonathan Hunt has been covering this for months now uh, and has been following this back and forth. There was a bit of a subtle change in uh, the way the government was putting its position, but it's a pretty radical suggestion to hear it from most observers in Washington and beyond that's coming from Senator McCain about using drone strikes or air yeah, power. This is a very radical suggestion from Senator McCain in the sense that nobody has suggested any sort of air campaign by the U.S. and other Western nations up until now. But it's not so radical in the sense that we have actually done it before, not so long ago in Libya, of course. And Senator McCain says that's exactly what we should do now, be at the front of what is a coalition effort. Listen. The United States should lead an international effort to protect key population centers in Syria, especially in the north, through airstrikes on Assad's forces. To be clear, this will require the United States to suppress enemy air defenses in at least part of the country. So a U.S.-led air campaign is what Senator McCain is suggesting. We've reached out to both the White House and the State Department for their reaction. Nothing back from either of those yet. We're hearing that there's possible action in the United Nations, though. Yeah, and no coincidence that this new effort to get a United Nations Security Council resolution comes the day after the elections in Russia. President Putin, uh, other leaders now hope, with the election out the way, will be able to focus on foreign policy a lot more, and a lot of leaders hope that he will change Russia's, Russia's position. Obviously, Russia has until now, alongside China, vetoed UN Security Council resolution calling on President Assad to step aside. But on the uh, flip side of...